Hi students, welcome back to Mass YouTube channel Mass Insights. Today's problem is in exercise ten point one of chapter ten of stride lines. See what the problem says. The base of an equilateral triangle with the side actually with the side two a lies along the y axis. Such that the midpoint of the base is at the origin. Find the vertices of the triangle. This is the question. Before going to solve any problem, first read it carefully what is given and what is to be calculated. In this case, they are saying they have given you an equilateral triangle. So you know that equilateral triangle is a triangle with all sides in equal lengths. The particular Equilateral triangle is along the along the y-axis, and the see what they are saying. The midpoint of the base is at the origin. Suppose if I am drawing this, this uh, I am drawing x-axis and y-axis. In x-axis and y-axis, see this is what I am drawing. This is let it be x-axis and this is y-axis. So in this axis, the this this equilateral triangle is along the y-axis, and the meeting point of this x-axis and y-axis is called origin, and it is the midpoint of the base of the triangle. Now, if you draw this triangle like this, then this will be the midpoint of the base. Let it be point A. I am taking another color for a better appearance. This is another point B. This is O. You have to find the coordinates of the vertex A and the vertex B and let the vertex C. You can easily say that the vertices of the the or the, the, the coordinates of the vertex A is 0, comma A. Why? Because this base is two units length and this is the midpoint. Means this is A and uh, this is also A. So the point is on y axis, therefore x coordinate will become 0 and y coordinate is A, positive A. Why? Because this is positive y axis. And this vertex B is also on y axis, but it is on negative y axis. Any point which is on Y axis contains its x coordinate as 0, therefore 0, comma minus a. You came to know the vertices of the coordinates of the vertex A and vertex B very easily. But the point is, what are the coordinates of the third vertex? See, they are asking find the they are asking find the vertices of the triangle. You know that there will be three vertices for every triangle you easily got the two vertices, the coordinates of two vertices, and you have to find the coordinates of the third vertex. Let's see. see this is right angle triangle, you know very well. So if it is a right angle triangle, then I can easily apply Pythagoras theorem. So solution, I am writing solution. In this solution, clearly says that in triangle, in triangle A, O, C, angle O is equals to 90 degrees. Therefore, it will become a right angle triangle. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem, I will find, I will find the length of the OC. Therefore, what Pythagoras theorem says, Square of the hypotenuse. In this case, hypotenuse is AC. AC square is equals to, and the squares of which is equals to square sum of squares of remaining two sides. Remaining two sides are one is AO and the other is OC. So AO square plus OC square. In this case, if you see, we don't know AC. That's why we are finding that value, and uh, 
See, this is a uh, equilateral triangle. Therefore, whenever the length of this side is, whenever the length of this side is 2a units, this length will also become 2a units. And the length of this will also be 2a units. But you have to know this length. Why? Because you have to find how far away this point is from origin. That is important now. In this case, AC square. AC means distance between A and C. They have given you 2A units. Therefore, 2A units whole square. And AO, AO is minus A. Actually, it is in positive axis, sorry. Uh, that is plus A square. And OC, we don't know OC square. That implies 2. This is 2A whole square means 4A square. 4 a square is equal to this is a square plus o c square that implies to 4 a square when i will take this minus a square this side then minus a square that is equals to o c square now 4 a square minus a square will give you 3 a square 3 a square is equals to o c square means if you want to find o c then you have to do square root of 3a square that is root 3 into a. The length of this now is root 3 into a units. Therefore, you can easily find the what the, the coordinates of this point. Why? Because this point is on x-axis, therefore its y coordinate will become 0. You got your x coordinate as root 3 into a. Therefore, the what the, the coordinates are root 3a comma 0. Therefore, the three vertices of the equilateral triangle is equilateral triangle or I am writing first one is 0 comma a Second one is 0 comma minus a. Third one is root 3 a comma 0. See, you have to get another road. Why you have to bend? Why you have to, uh, that means you have to show the equilateral triangle this side only. Why don't you show the same triangle in this way also? In this way also. So, this is also correct one. So, but the vertices of this point and this point will not change. But the vertices of this point will change. Now, this point is also, this point is also on x-axis, but it is on negative x-axis. Therefore, the coordinates will become minus root 3a comma 0. So, if you, if you slant this triangle to this side, then the vertices or this is one set of three vertices, coordinates of three vertices and another are 0, a and 0, minus a and finally this value of this coordinate, this coordinate will change minus root 3a comma 0. So in this way you can find the coordinates of vertices of the given equilateral triangle. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it to your clients and anybody who is needy of this type of uh, videos. We will meet in the next video. Until then, have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.